Matthew Tutimas, and I'm a biologist. As a biologist, we pretty much document all the native flora and fauna uh, within the area that we work, um, uh, as well as uh, within California, we have other requirements that uh, through, I guess, the legal forms of environmental process, uh, we help out with surveys and things of that sort to help the, the environmental process uh, go through. Uh, I, I actually thought I wanted to become an elementary school teacher and I was doing camps thinking that I wanted to work with kids and I found out that no, it's the outside that I like, not so much the kids, <laughs> even though I, I dig hanging out with kids as well, but uh, after I, I had one semester left at school to get my uh, um, general ed uh, d diploma or whatever and I was doing my 40 hours of service or uh, teaching and they just annihilated me. And from that point, I switched to biology, probably spent another three or four years in school because I didn't have any science stuff at all. And so from that point, I am so happy I made that choice. For that aspect, um, it's pretty much uh, because I'm in the family and I'm a biologist, I'm now our tribe's biologist. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's really no, uh, um, I guess, job title to it, um, it's, but what I get to do is speak on behalf of uh, the tribe for a lot of our flora and fauna. So I give the information to the people about our flora and fauna so that the decision makers can hopefully make good decisions. And I do that on behalf of our family. Our family. Don't look at it, use it. It's, it's one of these, a lot of our land managers in Orange County uh, utilize uh, the idea of keep out and that will protect our land. And as we see, our land is geared for fire and when we do the keep out signs and we build uh, fuel within all these areas, it goes. That's what happened to our cactus ran, that's what happened in the Laguna fire and the freeway fire and the complex fire, so many fires we have and, and they're multiple. Um, our, our environment is built for that, it's built to, to burn but not so frequently and the way we're managing our lands, it's enabling a lot of this destruction to go overboard rather than to maintain what we have and uh, it just seems like the mentality of not, of keep out is not working. all of us are biologists. We should all be connected to what was created for us and everyone has that connection to the land. I mean we all feel it, we all know that somehow we belong somewhere and if you live here you need to know what was put here for you and every place on the planet specific plants and animals were put there for those people. If you live here, certain things are put here for you. And that's the beauty of what we still have here. Even though a lot of it has been removed so we can't use it anymore, but there still is a lot of good quality stuff available for us to utilize and to experience with um, in terms of getting medicinal value out of it, in terms of getting food value out of it, in terms of um, getting structure. You can, you can uh, you know, make tools, things of that sort um, for whatever need you have at that point. Point. But unfortunately, in our land today, we don't have enough of it left for our whole population to be doing that. We've just made it that way. So now we're in this gauge of just stop, keep out, and look. Because that's unfortunately the way that it has to be handled these days. Because when you let, allow folks to engage, a lot of folks don't know how to engage. And they destroy rather than uh, pro uh, make it better. <laughs> And thanks for watching. If you want to look, learn more, go to www.gabrieleno-indians.org.